What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. As most of you know, the NBA trade deadline just wrapped up. I was streaming for about three hours. We had a really fun time on stream and I went immediately to 2K and made most of the trades, if not all of the trades go through here on 2K. So we're going to recap them. And of course, you're going to be rebuilding the Chicago Bulls today who acquired Nikola Vucevic and there were some other minor trades they did as well. So yeah, so we're going to recap the trade deadline, see what kind of all happened. I did it all in 2K. So, you know, the trades aren't perfect because 2K it makes you like trade certain players when you don't need to but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash that like button subscribe if you haven't already it's been an awesome day for me personally and i'm going to continue with it so let's go ahead and rebuild the chicago bulls with nikola vucevic here now we're going to just go ahead and look at the transaction report because like i said i just manually put in all these trades and i will say there's probably some trades i forgot about and there's probably some trades i did not put in this video if that is a, if that did happen and you see a trade i did not put in let me know down in the comment section below i'm pretty sure i didn't do the marquise chris to the spurs trade and there's probably gonna be some other ones that come out but we did most of them so let's just go ahead and start from the bottom and uh we'll work our way up actually that is not where we want to go so uh let's just go to uh trades there we go so this is what we're gonna look at so let's go ahead and get started with the big one this happened earlier today nikola vucevic to the bulls for window carter auto porter a 2021 first round pick which is top four protected and it's 2023 first i'm not going to go into detail on all these trades because there's a lot to go over so obviously i'm not going to like go oh i think the i think the bulls won this trade or the magic won this trade like i'm not going to go too much in detail so vucevic to Orlando or to the bulls and the magic get some young pieces so uh, like I said, we're doing a Bulls rebuild today, so we'll talk more about that later. You got Evan Fournier going to the Celtics with their trade exception for two second round picks. Javante Green is just a guy I had to throw in this trade. He wasn't actually part of the trade. It's just a guy I had to throw in there. So yeah, Evan Fournier to the Celtics for a trade exception and two second round picks. By the way, don't look up his last name. Just don't do it. Okay. And they got Aaron Gordon going to the Denver Nuggets for Gary Harris, RJ Hampton, and a future first round pick 2025. I think it's protected as well. So, yeah, that was the thing. Aaron Gordon to the Nuggets. Big W for them. You got Maurice Harkless, Chris Silva going over to the Kings for Nemanja Bialica. Uh, Jaius Ramsey is just a filler in there again. He wasn't actually part of the trade. And then this one happened right after I ended stream, bro. If you were in the stream, you know that I ended this. Ended the stream literally right before this happened. Old Depot to the Miami Heat for Avery Bradley, a uh, pick swap in the future, and then Kelly Olenek. I don't know if the details actually came out on that. But yeah, so Avery Bradley and Kellen Lennox to the Rockets while Old Depot goes to the Miami Heat. So Miami Heat gets stronger. Uh, the, the Raptors traded Terrence Davis for a second round pick. The Blazers traded Gary Trent Jr. Rodney Hood for Norman Powell, man. So you guys know I'm a passionate Blazers fan and that definitely surprised me. But I'm not too upset about this. We're going to do a rebuild on this later on, of course. So, But for now, uh, Gary Trent Jr., I'm going to miss him. Norman Powell and Portland's a W though. Yeah, Rajon Rondo going to the Clippers for Lou Williams in two seconds. So I think the Clippers overpaid for Rondo, but Rondo in the playoffs is a different animal. So who knows? Maybe they win a championship at the end of the day and it doesn't matter. Got Matt Thomas going to the Jazz and you got a three team trade here. So it was like George Darius Miller. You see his name in here, but he wasn't actually part of the trade. I just had to throw him in here to make it work. So uh, on 2K anyway, George Hill to the Knicks or I traded him to the Knicks on accident. Okay, well, George Hill went to the 76ers. Sorry, I didn't mean to trade him to the Knicks. Uh, I was kind of in a hurry, but George Hill went to the 76ers, and then uh, there were some other things that happened there. Tony Bradley and Terrence Ferguson in two seconds went to the, uh, went to the Thunder. And then I think I messed this trade up because uh, I was doing a three-team deal, but George Hill should be on the 76ers. That's totally my bad. But all right, then there then there was this one. Uh, we got Maurice Wagner, Troy Brown Jr. going to the Bulls for Daniel Gafford, Chiller Hudson, which then turned into Maurice Wagner going over to the Celtics for Daniel Tyus. So the Bulls also land Daniel Tyus. And then Corey Joseph, this one happened like way earlier in the day or yesterday or something like that. But uh, Corey Joseph for DeLon Wright, the Pistons got two, two second round picks for DeLon Wright. So W. Then the Isaiah Hardenstein for JaVale McGee trade. Then the JJ Redick. This trade is actually incorrect. I didn't know what the details were, but it's actually James Johnson and Wesley Wundu going over to the Pelicans for Redick and Nico Melli, but it's not going to affect too much. So that is all the trades that I think I put down. If I missed any, let me know, but I'm pretty sure I got most of the important ones, right? So um, let me make sure nothing else is happening. I throw my phone on the floor all the time, so I got to check real quick. Um, So looks like... Oh, the match could also get Jeff Teague out of the Celtics trade, I guess. Ma Lamar Zaldrin is getting bought out. So there's a lot more coming out, obviously, but we're just going to focus on the Bulls. And then Kyle Lowry is the huge, huge uh, story here where he did not get traded. But like I said, we're just going to focus on the Chicago Bulls right now. So the Bulls traded Wendell Carter. They didn't trade Lori Markkinen. 
and they have Nikola Vucevic now with Zach Levine. So this is an interesting looking lineup if you look at it. So Kobe White, Levine, Patrick Williams, Thaddeus Young, Vucevic. Marking it for some reason isn't starting. I don't know why. I'm definitely going to change that. Daniel Tysa also is here as well. And you got Thomas Anoransky, Troy Brown Jr. So I think I'm going to move Daniel Tice to uh, center as well. Um, which I'm surprised the Celtics traded him because I felt like he was an important part of what the Celtics... Actually, no, I'm not because it goes down to a 76 overall. So um, I'm going to go ahead and definitely fix why... Okay, let me move this to a balanced... And let me get Laurie Markinen back in there, please. No, he's still not in there. I'm putting Laurie Markinen in. But, so Daddy's Young off the bench. But this is the new lineup. So, Zach Levine and Nikola Vucevic. For me, breaking down this trade, I think it was a W for both sides. I know some people say that, or uh, Chicago overpaid, or whatever it was. But, for me, I think you convinced Zach Levine that you're trying to win, and he potentially stays. So, I think it was a W. I really do. But, we're going to stop talking. We're just going to go ahead and just simulate how things go. We're going to see how the league looks after all these trades went down. Like I said, there was a lot. There were some I probably didn't even get in here. And, there's obviously going to be some more things that happen with the buyouts and signings and all that. But, for now, we're just going to go ahead. So, much at the end of this season, I kind of want to see where the Chicago Bulls land. And, of course, we're going to try to win a championship with Nikola Vucevic and Zach Levine leading the way. This season, LeBron James is your most valuable player of the league. Emmanuel quickly rookie of the year on the New York Knicks so that's actually different we usually see LaMelo win that but Jerry Allen six men of the year Giannis defensive player and Christian Wood most improved Tyron Lou coach of the year and Dylan Shaw executive and then here's your all NBA first team all NBA second team and all NBA third team so we actually finished as the fourth seed in the east so that would actually be a major accomplishment for the Chicago Bulls if they somehow finish as the fourth seed in the east I don't know if they will but that would be a major accomplishment but you kind of have a big two here with Vucevic and Zach Levine I like it I really do I think this is a I think that this was a power move by the Chicago Bulls and it shows they want to win that's why I like this move personally the only thing that could suck for Chicago is their 2021 pick is top four protected if for some reason the Bulls didn't make the play playoffs and then their pick didn't land in the top four orlando gets their lottery pick if it's not in the top four that would be the only way this trade sucks for the bulls but other than that i like what happened so let's go ahead and see how we match up against the boston celtics so kimba walker Samara, jim brown tatum robert williams fournier tristan thompson maurice wagner uh peyton pritchard again don't look up his last name I was getting trolled in the chat today on stream. But let's see if we can beat this team. So we're up uh, and we lose in seven. Oh, man. We were up like two to one or two to zero. But we ultimately lose to the Boston Celtics. We got Philadelphia uh, here. Obviously, George Hill should be here. And Danny Green didn't get traded, by the way, either. So interesting. But let's simulate playoffs and see what happens. Toronto makes the playoffs. And you got the Los Angeles Lakers. Um, wow. Portland made the Western Conference Finals as well with Norman Powell. But the Lakers go ahead and win the championship over the Philadelphia 76ers in seven games okay so we got some work to do because obviously we want to turn this team into a championship team and it looks like chicago is trying to win now so i like what they're doing so let me go to the draft lottery like i said we're not going to get our pick it was top three protected so it's going to orlando magic we made the playoffs so the magic get um the 23rd pick via us so congrats to them we'll have to see where the chicago bulls land in real life so billy donovan i'm going to keep because obviously he's kind of brand new so no reason to just go in and fire him so i'm going to go ahead and Maurice Cheeks, I guess I'll keep, but I'm gonna go ahead and hire. Um, I need a better assistant here, man. Where are some assistant coaches? We got Josh Longstaff. Is there anyone better out here? Where's my boy Trent Peterson? I always sign him, but he's not out here. So I guess we'll sign Will Hardy, and then that'll be our new assistant coach. My voice is already kind of shot because, guys, like I said, I legit streamed for uh, three hours earlier today, and now I'm doing a video. So my voice is gonna definitely hate me after today. So. Let's go to the NBA draft now and let's see what we got going on. So the 23rd pick, obviously we don't have anything going on because we traded it. So we have Alfred Camino's contract. We have Patrick Williams who I'm going to keep, Kobe White. Um, so I guess we could look for a legitimate point guard this offseason if we want to go for that. I know the Bulls were very, very heavily interested in Lonzo Ball. So maybe we could free up some cap space to sign Lonzo Ball this offseason. Maybe we could do something like that, which is definitely possible. So I'm going to go ahead and just go to rookie signing though. And we get DJ Jeffries in the second round. Why not? Welcome to Chicago. Player options. Sadoransky declining because we're actually going to... Troy Brown Jr.'s team option for $5 million. I'm actually going to accept that. Thaddeus Young, though, in order for me to be able to sign a guy like Lonzo Ball, I'm going to decline that team option because we're going to need the money. I want to bring back Troy Brown Jr., though. Qualifying offers. Laurie Markkinen. Definitely somebody I also want to bring back. And if Lonzo Ball is out here, is going to be the guy I go for because they were very interested in him. So... Lonzo Ball, let's see how much money he's asked for. Oladipo apparently is also uh, about to get a multi-year contract for the Miami Heat. But Lonzo Ball wants a bag, bro. Oh my goodness. Okay, so $23 million for four years. So let's say we're able to maybe get this to happen. 
So we would have to hopefully not renounce uh, Lori Markkinen because I don't want to. Okay, we're going to have to potentially. So let's say... Um, wait, sh we should be able to... Okay, we should be able to keep Lori Markkinen after all this, right? Yes, okay, so we can keep Lori Markkinen. We're renouncing Sadoransky. We're renouncing Thaddeus Young. Is there any way I can keep Daniel Tyus? No, I can't. Okay, Um. all right, so that's fine. We're going to sign Lonzo Ball. And no, we're not, because the Pelicans match. Never mind. We're not getting Lonzo Ball. Probably should have overpaid, I guess. So no Lonzo Ball, but that's fine. We have some other options we could go for. So Chris Paul, want to bring him to Chicago. Um, we got Dinwiddie. Uh, we could go for him, maybe. It's not good. Spencer Dinwiddie to be the point guard. Derek Rose, we could bring him back to Chicago, but I feel like I do that all the time, so I don't really want to do that today. Uh, wow, Lonzo Ball is the guy I really wanted. Norman Powell is out in free agent. Only, only asking for $13 million. That would be a steal. So I think the guy... I'm going to sign is uh, if I can get Dinwiddie here, that would be actually kind of a W. Um, I wouldn't mind Dinwiddie, and then I'm going to wait on that Laurie Markkinen offer. So Spencer Dinwiddie, that could be a nice point guard to bring in if we miss out on Lonzo Ball. But I'm actually going to wait and see if Lonzo Ball falls out. I don't know if he will. But I'm going to match Laurie Markkinen's offer, and then Lonzo Ball probably didn't fall out, right? Or maybe we could do, maybe we could pull off a trade with New Orleans if we still were interested. Let's see if we can do that. So let's say the Pelicans... So let's say we can maybe try to get something to work here. So so let's say we do a sign-in trade maybe with the New Orleans Pelicans. So if I offer Aminu, who's going to make the salary work, and I'll also offer you Troy Brown Jr. And I guess if you're going to trade for Lonzo Ball, maybe you trade Kobe White here instead, maybe? Or is that just too much to do? Is that too much? So let's say we did this. Let's say we did this. They don't agree. I'll throw, uh, I'll throw a... Uh, a first in I, I guess you can't trade that first can you um i'll tr throw a 2025 pick in here and they agree so we got lonzo ball so that would have been nicer to get him for free but we ultimately trade kobe white and we got lonzo so let's say a sign and trade happened i don't know if bulls fans love what i just did but hey i did it anyway so troy brown jr is still here lonzo ball is our new point guard we need a big man we need some backups ultimately we definitely need some backups but we should still have some cap space so Let's go ahead and get to work. So, uh, cap space we're going to be using. Cousins, Norris Noel, JaVel McGee, Gorgeous Jane, 31 years old. I could bring him back. Uh, Kim Birch, only wants 5 million, 77 overall backup center. Why not? So, we'll sign Kim Birch to a backup deal, be our backup big man. And then, point guards we can look for. There's George Hill, TJ McConnell, definitely always a nice backup to have. So, TJ McConnell. And then, we might still have mid level here. Um, we can sign Sadoransky back. And we can sign Gorgie Dang as well. Um, okay, let's sign Gorgie Dang to a contract and then can we still sign Sadoransky back? We can so I'll go ahead and do that So we got Lonzo Ball. We got Markkinen back. Okay Very interesting very interesting offseason. So Lonzo Ball, teach McConnell, Sadoransky So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move Troy Brown to the three because he's gonna go up. I'm gonna move um, I think Let's say we move Sadoransky to the two and then he'll be our backup shooting guard. So let's say we do that So Thomas Sadoransky at shooting guard Lonzo Ball, teach McConnell Zach Levine, Sadoransky, Patrick Williams, Troy Brown, Lori Markkinen, Vucevic, Kim, uh, Kim Birch, and Gorgie Dang. I'm also going to move Gorgie Dang to power forward. So, Bulls fans, how are we feeling about that first offseason? Do you hate me or do you love me? Do you love the Lonzo Ball acquisition or is that just a dumb trade? I don't know. Uh, I would have loved to have gotten him for free and keep Kobe White, but um, it is what it is. So, let's just go ahead and simulate season number two, see how things go now that Z uh, Lonzo Ball is in town. And uh, let's see if we can uh, compete for a championship or something. Young is your MVP for the Atlanta Hawks. Kate Cunningham, Rookie of the Year on the Thunder. Dinwiddie, six man on the Brooklyn Nets. Eyes, defensive player. Mitch Robson, most improved. Nick McMillan, Coach of the Year and Executive of the Year goes to Joseph May. So all NBA first team, you got Luka, Trey, LeBron, Giannis, Embiid, all NBA. Second team, you got Harden, Steph, AD, Kevin Durant, Jokic. And then here's your all NBA third team, all defense first team, and all defensive second team. So we ended up as a second seed in the East. We went 57 and 25, which is a major W. So looking at the player stats, we had 27 from Zach Levine, obviously a must resign in the offseason, 23 from Nikola Vucevic, 15 from Markinen, 12 from Patrick Williams, who's going to be a huge uh, step up for us, and then Lonzo Ball with 11 and 7. So again, I know the Kobe White trade was a uh, a little weird. Like I said, I would have loved to have just signed Lonzo Ball and not worry about it. But Troy Brown Jr. with eight as well. TJ McConnell with eight. Gorgia Dane with seven. And Sadoransky with six. So, very, very nice. And now we get to play the Cleveland Cavaliers in the playoffs. We have Deshaun Nix, Sexton Okoro, Kevin Love, Andre Drummond, Jarrett Allen, and Darius Garland. So, simulating game one. Uh, Cleveland's up one to zero on us. 
It's probably because Drummond's there, right? Because Drummond's a beast in 2K. Uh, but we evened it up, so that's good. So let's see if we can go up 2-1 to one here. We're down 2-1, to one, and I'm already nervous because I do not want to lose in the first round to the Cleveland Cavaliers, who shouldn't even have Andre Drummond, bro. They shouldn't even have him. They shouldn't even have the man because they're about to buy the dude out. So hopefully we can even this series up and not go down 3-1 to one to Cleveland. That would be great. And it looks like we're going to blow them out, which we do. So it looks like Aldridge is on the verge of getting bought out as well. And Jeff Teague went over to the Orlando Magic, but he's going to get waived. So the Celtics also traded Jeff Teague. But let's go ahead and see if we can uh, win 3-2. to two. Go up 3-2 to two here on uh, Cleveland. And we almost come back, but we end up going down 3-2. to two. Come on, man. Let's not lose in the first round again. Especially the Cavaliers of all teams. Let's make this happen. Let's see if we can... Uh, Force a game seven and bring this back to Chicago. And we do 136 to 127, 28 and 17 from Vucevic. All right, man, game seven in Chicago. We don't lose these. We don't lose these, bro. Come on, man, we got this. And it's in the bag, bro, come on. Chicago, please, man, 123 to 112. We lose by 11 to <coughs> the Cavaliers. My throat is killing me right now, bro, but we're chilling. 14 and 16. All right, well, we don't uh, get past the first round again. Cleveland upsets us, so. We got New Orleans, or Brooklyn beating the Suns in seven games. So we got one more offseason in us because my voice is never going to forgive me if I keep talking. So, all right, man, let's make some more upgrades, I guess. So let's go to the draft lottery. And uh, we're not going to have our pick here either, I don't think. Actually, I think we do. And no, um, wait. I don't even know if we have our pick or not. I don't even see it anywhere. Okay, we yeah, we have the 28th pick. So we have the 28th pick. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and bring back Billy Donovan because why not? Uh, he's been pretty good for us. And then assistant coaches that I can bring back. Uh, I can bring Kenny Atkinson here to Chicago. Um, why not? And he rejects our offer. Just kidding. So I'm going to go ahead and get... Um, is there anyone else? We got... Bro, there's nobody with good ratings out here. Whatever. Um, I'll just sign Wes Unsell Jr., I guess. And then head scout, Kill Montgomery. Welcome to Chicago. Okay. So let's go to the NBA draft now. Is there anything I can do here on draft night to do something? So... Uh, we got TJ McConnell under contract. We got Thomas Sadoransky under contract. Um, okay, I just want to make sure nothing else happens. So let me... Uh, McConnell, I want to keep Sadoransky here. I want to keep Kim Birch. Didn't really get minutes from me. So I guess if I wanted to trade him, I can trade him for Luke Kennard, it looks like. Okay, Cousins, Kuzma. I'm bringing Kuzma over to Chicago for... Uh... Lakers need a big man, right? Why not? Uh, we get a first, we trade a first 28th pick for Kyle Kuzma. Sure. Welcome to the team, Kyle Kuzma. Let's go to player options now. So, team and player options, we're going to have Patrick Williams, DJ Jeffries, and then qualifying offers, Troy Brown Jr. I actually want to bring him back because he's an 82 overall right now. Is there anything? All right, so Levine, obviously, got to sign him back. Got to sign him back. Like, no doubt in my mind, got to bring him back. So, Markinen is also a free agent again, so I want him back as well. And you know, Troy Brown Jr., bro, ooh, asking for a bag. Okay, if you're going to come back, it's going to be on a restricted offer because I'm not offering you that contract. So, Troy Brown Jr. wants a bat, fat contract. Is there anyone I can sign a free agency that would be an upgrade? So, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, okay, so we got Kyle Kuzma. So, we could use a backup small forward or center, but we're probably going to get um, what's his name back. So, I guess we can look at the center spot. I see your nose Noel. So, I'm just going to go ahead and give him a two year deal to be our backup big man. And we're waiting on Troy Brown Jr. Because I want Brown back as well. So let's see if he comes back. If he comes back, then we're just going to roll with this team again. And I think one thing I am going to do is I'm actually going to boost Laurie Markinen's shot tendency up a little bit. That way he scores a little bit more. So Laurie Markinen's shot tendency right now is a 70. I'm going to move that up to like a... Okay, wait. Boost of his shot tendency even that big. So I'm going to move that up to like a 90. Uh, then we'll move Lonzo to like a, a 70 as well. So like 82 for... Um, Laurie Markkinen. And we're just going to hope that this team just does work again and we don't actually lose in the first round. So this team looks like it's building some, uh, you know, chemistry and all that. So it looks like we're going to get some going this next season, hopefully anyway. So throw some untapped potential at Markkinen and we'll throw some untapped potential at Patrick Williams. Hopefully he can continue to grow for us. And then we'll throw this last one at Kyle Kuzma. Why not? All right. That hurt my throat like crazy saying that. So, all right, looking at this final rotation, Lonzo, Levine, Patrick Williams, Markkinen, uh, Vucevic, Troy Brown, McConnell, Kuzma, Sadoransky. Got to give my throat a break because uh, it is literally throbbing right now. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate the rest of the season. See how we finish out. Last season, because I got to give my man, or I got to give my throat a damn break, bro. So 57 and 25, second seed in the East, going up against the Milwaukee Bucks. So 27 from Zach Levine, 24 from Vucevic, 17 from Laurie Markkinen, and 14 and a half from Patrick Williams. Lonzo Ball with 13 and 8 as well. So, 
Man, oh man, here we go. Hopefully we win a championship this season. Carter Williams, Nwamba, Giannis, and Chris Middleton, Brooke Lopez. This team definitely lost Drew Holiday, obviously. So that is a major L. Similar in game one, though. Uh, we're up one to zero. So good start. Uh, they evened it up, though. So not good. They're up two to one. Let's not do this, 2K. Come on, bro. Um, what do I got to do to get past the first round with the Bulls? What do I got to do? Do I got to sell my soul or something? Like, come on. Let's see if we can even it up. All right, we even it up two to two. We're down three to two. Am I going to get past the first round today? Please, bro. Let me get past the damn first round with the Bulls, bro. Okay, we're blowing them out. If I can get past the first round, I'm happy because I do not want to lose in the first round again, man. I'm tired of that. Here we go. Game seven in Chicago. We don't lose these. I said that last year and we lost. Bro, bro, please don't do this to me, 2K. Let me get past the first round with Chicago, man. I need to stop yelling. I need to stop yelling. My throat's going to kill me. Oh, my. Bro, no way we're going to lose again. Are you kidding me? Giannis on Kumpo. Okay, we're making a little bit of a comeback. A little bit of a comeback. Come on, Chicago. Step up. Okay. 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 I, I, can't, aff I, can't, afford I can't afford to lose in the first round again, man. We're jumping into this. We're jumping into this. I'm not losing the first round again. Let me get Lonzo. Come on. I almost stepped in the backcourt, I think. Okay. Vucevic or Lloyd Market and Screen, one or the other. I need something, man. Because I am not losing to... Come on, that's an one. All right, let's go. We can tie this up or we can uh, get two here. Make the first one. Boom. Why is Zach Levine not out here? Get this man out here. And make the second one. Yes. Okay, so three-point game. Game seven. Here we go. All right. We got to play good defense. If I can switch on the right guy, that'd be great. Michael Carter Williams is the one saucing me up right now. Come on, man. This guy ain't doing nothing on me. We're, he's clamped. All right. We got Patrick Williams on Middleton. I like this matchup. Middleton fade away. He misses it. W. All right. Uh, still no Levine out here. I wonder why that is. Okay. For some reason, they're not playing defense. So I'm just going to go ahead and take Nikola Vucevic with the very slow speed. I think Levine is coming in. No, that's McConnell. All right. Let's see. I guess Lonzo Ball is going to have to be the guy that steps up for us. All right, here we go. Going down low to Middleton again. Good defense again, and he misses. W. All right, let's going to go to Lonzo here. That way we have someone. Okay, 123 to 122. I need a basket, and we take the lead. That's all we need here, bro. That's all we need. I, I, I smell an alley-oop. Uh, just kidding. It, it wasn't there. It wasn't there. Okay, Um, I don't have anything going right now. Just give it to Vucevic down low. I'm going to try to make something happen here. Uh, he's jumping. He's jumping. Come on, man. Give me the... Give me the foul. <sighs> I just choked that. I probably should have just threw the oop and hoped for the best. Probably should have just threw the alley oop and hoped for the best. Middleton down low again. I thought he was going to shoot. He is now. He hits it this time. 125 to 122. Okay. I got to make some... Why is Levine not out here? The man... The man's probably fouled out, huh? Okay. All right. That's fine. Lonzo ball to the basket. Quick, quick bucket. 124 to 125. We're still vibing. We're still vibing. Got to play good defense here, though. Come on, man. It's got to stop Middleton. Giannis ain't even out here. No, no reason. We could just double team Middleton and we're chilling almost. Carl Williams ain't doing from the outside. Oh my goodness. Middleton again, bro. Please. He missed it. Okay. Lonzo ball game winner. Come on. Let's go. Taking it up the court. I'm just scoring. I don't care. I'm going in. I'm going in. Lonzo, please make this. Yes. 125 to 126. It is a struggle to get past the first round, man. It is a absolute freaking struggle, I guess. Jabari Parker expected to be released by the Kings as well. Multiple teams eyeing Otto Porter Jr. as he might get bought out. Okay. Or, or yeah, bought out. Not traded. He can't be traded anymore. I don't know why I said that. Okay. We just got to get a stop. Just a stop, and we're into the second round. Levine, player of the game, is not even in the game right now. Probably fouled out, which is really annoying, but whatever. So, here we go. Lonzo Ball is going to have to be the clutch guy. We just got to get a stop, man. I wish I could. I wish I knew how to double team Middleton because that's kind of what I want to do right now. Um, but Middleton is probably gonna somehow hit this game winner on me, isn't he? He's gonna hit the game winner on me, isn't he? Oh my! No way! Michael Carter Williams ain't doing it. I really just let Michael Carter Williams hit the game winner on me. You can't make that up. You can't make that up. No way that just happened. No way that just happened. OK, 
Okay, well, you know what? That should do it for me, I guess, because... Wow, okay, well, um, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna head out, I think, because that is... Very, very unfortunate. Yeah. This Crushables, hope you enjoyed. I'm saying peace, because... Wow.